Ready, Mike? Peace. So, uh, tonight we have a 2007 Jaguar. Meow. Um, it's got a misfire issue, so we don't believe that the plugs and coils have ever been messed with. It's got uh, 118,000 miles on it. Pretty close. So, uh, we're just going to start there. Um, it's the most common thing for misfire, I would say, would be a plug. Um, next would be a coil pack. Um, we're going to do both. Yeah, so we're just going to, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So, uh, uh, the front ones won't be so bad. The back ones are kind of a bear to get to. we got to take the whole intake plenum off of it. And uh, we're just going to try to roll it up out of the way because it's got water running through it. So, I don't want to have to break the water system open. Um, so, yeah. That's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully with no broken bolts, we'll be good. So, anyway. That's what we're doing tonight. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're halfway done with the first side. I mean, it's been literally like 10 minutes, but uh, here is a new plug. And here is an old plug. As you can see, those dudes have been in there a long time. See how small that gap is, how big that gap is. These little electrodes burn off. I mean, it's, uh, see how you got that little extra point coming down on the end of the electrode? This one's burnt complete. Well, if it's going to focus, burnt completely off. So, so yeah, these plugs have probably never been changed. Would be my guess. But anyway, so this first hole had a little bit of oil in it, so it's probably just a little bit of a valve cover leak. Not horrible. Um, the rest of them looked pretty good. So now it's just reverse putting plugs in and uh, putting coil boots on and. This side will be buttoned up and then I can start removing the intake. Um, so you can see a bolt here. There's a bolt here, a bolt there, a bolt back there. Um, there's some other little hold down bolts, lots of little plugs to take off, some vacuum lines. And hopefully I can get this dude all loose and get him worked up and flop him over. So that's the plan. That's where we're going. Josh just got done changing his cabin air filter because he was tired of breathing in dirt. So oh, it looked bad. It was nice. It was really nice. So, all right, well, back to hyperlapse. All my intake plenum bolts are loose. You can see the intake bouncing around. I think I've got everything undone I need to undo. Um, one thing I want to point out is all these plenum bolts, not all of them are different lengths, but it looks like there's two different lengths. So what I did is I started over here on what would be the right side of the motor and I numbered this one one, so I put a one on this guy. And then this next one over here, I numbered him two. So I put a two on it. It's hard to see because the bolt's in the way, but he's right there. So yeah, three, four, five, and six. So there's six bolts. So that way I keep them straight. We don't get them confused. You don't have a long bolt where you're supposed to have a short bolt or anything like that. So if everything's worked right, I'll put you guys back on hyperlapse. I should be able to fold this dude right up out of the way and uh, get to the backside coils. If I can get to the backside coils and I don't have any trouble, then I'm just gonna leave you guys on hyperlapse until I get the uh, Coil packs changed.
All right, so these were the intake gaskets. They're just little rubber O-ring seals. We went ahead and changed them. You can see they got some oil on it. The car burns a little oil. Um, here are the spark plugs. So most of them aren't too bad. Um, you know, you want that tawny brown color. That means you're burning good. If you're getting black, that means you're burning too much fuel. If you're getting uh, white, that means you're not burning enough fuel. And all these really look pretty good. They're pretty normal. Um, there was only one that looked kind of weird. And if you look at the back of this plug, you can see it's kind of rusted up. Look, you can see the rust right there where it's ate down into the, the tip. So that's kind of uh, odd. And then one coil pack was different. So sometime in this life, this coil pack's been changed. So we don't know exactly when. It could have been, you know, at 20,000 miles. It could have been at 80,000 miles. But looking at the plugs, I don't think they've ever been changed, especially with the one that's rusted up. So, and then when I put the plugs back, because you're going aluminum, um, I put some anti-seize stuff on the plug so it doesn't, doesn't lock into the head. So what we got left to do is... Uh, try to fire it up and uh, then we're gonna see about maybe doing the fuel filter we're not 100% sure on that yet we don't know exactly where it's at and uh, how hard it is to get off so we're gonna get on the lift I assume it's underneath because I don't see it on top and uh, go from there so let's see if we'll start here's explosion time we're gonna get in the car that's the hardest part of it. yeah Running. Nothing sounds funky. All right, let's give them a lift. So the fuel filter was right there, no big deal. Um, can you see the blue there? There's blue on top and bottom. You just squeeze them together, that pops right off. If you've seen when it popped off, fuel went everywhere. It sprayed me, it sprayed Josh, I hit my head. Um, direction of flow, the filters only go one way. So you gotta come from the tank to the car and you can see on this one, you got this fuel line coming out, going to the front of the car. So you know the fuel is going this way, so you know. So we got the fuel filter on there right, we got it bolted back up, and uh, I think that's everything we got. We just gotta let it down. I got a, I got a cut on my head somewhere, I don't know. But it's pretty good up there. Anyway. It's over on this side. Uh, that's what ha happens a lot when you're bald. But let's, uh, let's get it down and make sure it doesn't leak, and uh, go from there. Despite some blood, we're all good. We got no, uh, no fuel leaks. Um, the car does have some oil leaks, uh, you know, but it's got 118,000 miles on it. It's an 07. You kind of expect some of that. But really, it looked like a good, solid little car. I don't see much wrong with it. Now he just needs to get his windshield repaired and a headliner, and he'll be all good. But, uh, yeah, now we get to see if the, uh, the misfire goes away. Misfire goes away. We should be good. If it doesn't go away, we might tinker with it a little more. I don't know. Uh, I'd have to do some research and see, possible injector maybe, uh, you know, it could be a bunch of little things, but I think this will take care of it, looking at the plugs and the coil packs and all that, so, anyway, yeah, 2007 Jaguar, tune-up, cabin filter, air filter, fuel filter, all good, bring them up, peace.